So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that the weapon is unloaded. So we're going to take it out of the holster. There is a magazine in the, in the right, uh, pistol, so we're going to go ahead, hit the magazine release, take out the magazine, flip the safety down, slide the bat bolt back so that we can um, observe the chamber, make sure there's nothing in the chamber. Now put it back on safety, and now we can begin because the weapon is unloaded and is in a safe condition to begin cleaning. All right, so the first step is going to make sure that the gun is pointed in a safe direction. What we're going to do is we're going to push this spring down and rotate this barrel bushing clockwise. That's going to allow us to take the spring out. And I believe we can get the barrel bushing off. Well, we'll do that in a second. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. Okay. Thumb the safety down. Rotate the slide back. Just far enough. Push this out. There we go. Now the slide should come forward like that. And we can actually take the barrel out. Rotate the bushing. There's a groove right there. And we can take the barrel out. And that is one dirty 1911. Look at all that grime. We're going to clean that up. Okay, so I've already got everything set up how I want it right here. I've got a dirty set. Once I clean and oil it, uh, each part I'm going to put it over here onto this area. And that way, it's just maybe an OCD thing, but I like to keep my stuff uh, separate and clean. So, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this rag. We're just going to give everything a good wipe down. You can see... That, all that carbon build up. It was in a pretty, pretty dirty condition. Look at all that carbon. That's just from the barrel. <clears throat> now this doesn't have to be 100% spotless because then we're going to put solvent and we're going to apply solvent and um, then we're going to rub it down again make sure that we get all the dirt and the carbon off and once everything is all shiny and all sparkly clean we're going to reassemble this and it's really probably one of the easiest firearms I've ever had to assemble it's very simple want to make sure the spring is uh, very clean and well maintained because that is almost half the engine of this machine. You know, these are all metal parts and you want to make sure this is a tool, if it's a machine, you want to make sure that your machines are well oiled. It makes sense, doesn't it? See, I know the muzzle back here or up here definitely got a lot of carbon, so I'll wipe that off. Okay, now we're gonna start. Okay, now that we got those done, <clears throat> we're gonna dip this uh, barrel cleaner. That's probably a lot too much. That's okay. We will roll with it. I'm just going to push this through like so. I'm going to do that a few times, clean out all the carbon, all that gunk that <clears throat> got in there in the rifling.
Mm, not sure if you can see. Cleans it out quite nicely. So we're going to wipe this down again now that we got all the dirt off. There's one little area right there. Got a little bit of dirt on it. I think that's where it's been worn. So sometimes you got to use your fingernail and a little bit of elbow grease to get those tight areas. But it's it's really worth it, uh, guys, to keep keep your firearms well maintained. It really is smoother operation, longer lasting life. You want these things to last, you know, generations, um, and they're supposed to, and they they can honestly, if you take uh, good care of them. So, just making sure I've got the last little bit of carbon out of there. The last thing you want to happen is these things malfunction because they're dirty. That's never going to be a good day. Yep, those came out quite nice. So that is now cleaned. We're going to clean the bushing up again. I'm going to try to use a cleaner side of this rag. The bushing looks like it is pretty... Okay, so we are continuing to uh, clean this. Make sure the slide is wiped down real nice and neat. I'm going to make sure all that dirt is removed. So that when the when the slide slides back, there's nothing to stop it up. Make sure you get in here where the barrel is. Looks good. All right, now it's almost time for reassembly. All right, let's get this put back together. I'm gonna insert the barrel. Put the spring in. Flip it over. And now for this little feller. I gotta wiggle them in there a little bit. There we go. And now, okay, now that we've got that on, rotate up, slide the spring all the way down. And get the bushing pushed into place functions correctly still unloaded safety works trigger works safety and there you have it that is how easy it is to put together a 1911 and clean it thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.